Right, this is uh, another set of operators that operate on integral types only, so no float or double here. And um, here's the first one, it's the um, uh, unary complement operator, and it's got the same priority as the unary minus, and it's processed right to left just like uh, the unary minus. So for example, if you see a string like that, it means that you apply plus plus, and you apply the complement operator, and then you apply the minus sign. And as you might expect, uh, um, numerical unary numerical promotion is performed first before you do the complement. And the resulting type is uh, the uh, promoted type, so it's either going to be long or unint. And of course what it does is uh, it reverses the bits. So wherever you have a, a 1 in there, it's reversed to a 0. Whenever you have a, um, a 0, it's uh, reversed to a 1. So if you, if you did that, for example, and uh, you'd get that where of course I've tried to cash a one out by uh, not including the two leading zeros in there. <laughs> now if you look at that as a bit pattern you'll find it's the exact reverse. And it's an int of course. Right then, um, the next thing to look at is uh, that which is uh, the AND operator, the exclusive OR and the inclusive OR. And normally inclusive OR is just called OR and exclusive OR is sometimes seen as XOR. Right, um, uh, both operands must be of integral type, which uh, you might have guessed. Or there's also the possibility of them being Boolean, and we'll see that later. Um, binary numerical promotion is performed, and the resulting type, which is going to be either int or long, is the type of the result. So this is all basic standard stuff. And uh, that um, has got lower priority than the um, shift operators. And uh, the exclusive OR uh, comes below that in priority, and the OR comes below the exclusive OR. And they're all processed left to right. So if you get a string of them, they go left to right, if they're all the same. Um, otherwise, you have to take count of the priority in terms of which order you do them. And uh, this table shows you what results you get. For AND, uh, a bit is set if both bits in uh, either operand are set only. Only if both bits in, e both bits in uh, each operand are set, then you get a, a, a bit set out. Otherwise, it's all zero. For the um, or, you only get a zero out if both bits are zero. Otherwise, it's one. So it's A or B being set gives you a one. And for the exclusive or, you get um, you get a one out only where one of the bits is set. Okay, so uh, let's take a close look at that. Here's um, an example, some examples to show you how you can use these. Uh, take a look at the AND operator. Suppose you want to mask out all the bits apart from bits 12 to 19, then what you just do is AND it with a mask that looks like that, and you've isolated just bits 12 to 19 inclusive. Um, supposing you wanted to turn off bits 12 to 19, then if you if you added it with the complement of that, so these are all Fs up here and those are zeros and those are all Fs then, of course that would just turn off bits 12 to 19, so you'd end up with that but with D and E being 0 and 0 respectively. Um, here's a use for the um, exclusive OR. You can use that to flip the state of any bit. For example, if you if you uh, do that, it um, it will flip uh, the uh, most significant byte because that's the most significant byte there. If you did uh, that with that, it would flip the bits over. So A being one zero one zero would become zero one zero one, which is five, and B, which is um, uh, one zero one one, would become uh, zero one zero zero, which is four and the rest would be completely unchanged because you're ex exclusive oring whatever is there with uh, zero so if the bit is set then you'll have one bit set and it will come through if the bit is not set you've got no bit set and you'll get zero set so it doesn't change them at all uh, here's an example of or you can use that to um, set bits if you want to for instance um, if you uh, or that with uh, 
that um, what happens is it will set the first two bits of every byte so every byte in here has got uh, the first two bits set and that will set that will lead to the result will be the first two bits of every byte being set so 8 here would be 1 0 um, 8 is 1 0 0 0 so you end up with 1 0 1 1 which is B and uh, and so on uh, here's an example here which is a uh, an error because um, F is not an integral type here's an example just to uh, um, get the old brain going uh, is a hideous looking string um, which uh, if you were to write it down properly should really have some brackets in there somewhere uh, but here's what it means anyway um, right we start with the um, start with the highest priority and the complement is the highest priority so we'll obviously we've got some pair of brackets around them so they're done first uh, the next highest priority is the AND operator so you put a pair of brackets around the AND and whatever follows it so it be B AND that and up here C and B now the next highest priority is the um, exclusive OR so you do them bracket those off over there and the lowest priority is the ordinary OR so it's this expression there ORed with uh, that expression there yeah, I think yeah, that expression there, or again with that expression there. So it's basically three expressions all together.